Hey guys, Angus here with another Airsoft video for you guys today. Today we've got the brief overview of the Valken 30mm Red Dot Sight. If you guys are interested in picking this up after you watch this video, there'll be a link down below in the description to airsoftstation.com where you can purchase it for about $35. With that being said, let's hop right into this. All right, so getting right into things, obviously this site is in a dark earth color. And to me, the paint looks pretty good. It's a little bit uh, brighter than I would personally prefer, almost bordering on a slight like darker goldish. However, overall, it looks pretty nice and clean. I imagine it would match your tan AEG pretty nicely. You do have a rather nicely painted on there. Valken Outdoor stands out bright white paint. Uh, that way everybody can know your site is made by Valken. This thing is almost entirely composed out of a nice quality polymer. That's pretty much everything that's tan on the gun is polymer. All these black pieces, including your uh, locking bolts there, uh, your windage and elevation adjustment points, those are all constructive metal. So it's not like the entire thing is constructive polymer. You get metal pieces. But I will say that the polymer construction is advantageous in this case because the site only weighs a few ounces. And that's great for when you're mounting it on your AEG. It definitely helps to keep the overall weight of your gun down that you'll be lugging around in a game. So that's always a plus when you get a little bit lighter weight in my opinion. As far as the solidity of this goes, it is a solid sight. I wouldn't go bashing it against a cinder block, but overall it feels rather durable, nothing creaking, bendable in your hands. It's a solid sight uh, with a lightweight construction. As far as everything goes, looking from this side, you'll find your two adjustment points. If you were to unscrew these caps here, you can adjust on the side for windage and you can adjust up top for elevation. You do also have an accessory rail up top if you wanted to go ahead and uh, mount something on top of your optic. On the opposite side of the site, here would be where you would actually install your battery. You do have to do this when you get the site. It's not like others where the battery comes pre-installed. It's one of those small like watch type batteries. I believe they called it a CR1620. And it's pretty simple. Just unscrew the cap here, pop the battery in, screw it back on, and you're ready to go. Underlying where you would put the battery, this is also where you adjust the brightness of the dot you'll be seeing through the site, which we'll take a look at here in a few seconds. Uh, very simple. You just turn it, as you can see, currently off if you were to slide it down to one, you'd be on the first brightness setting. The settings are at least marked rather nicely in bright white paint, so you'll know where they are when you're adjusting. Look down the site and uh, see the dot you'll be seeing when you look into it. Uh, as you can see, hopefully you can catch a glimpse there, you do have that red dot. This is on the lowest brightness setting. If you were to turn it up to the highest, now obviously that looks a little less fuzzy when there isn't a camera in between the shooter and the site itself. It's a clear reticle that you'll be aiming down and you know it's nothing fancy. It's not like you get the crosshair red dot, just a very simple red dot literally uh, in the middle of the site that you can adjust via those points earlier I discussed for elevation and windage. It is clear and the brightness definitely does appear better when you're actually looking down the scope itself. And obviously this site mounts to all your standard 20 millimeter airsoft rails so you can go ahead and pop it on pretty much all the AEGs in your collection. Overall, personally, I'm not a giant fan of red dot sights. I prefer uh, sights that actually have some magnification to them. However, there's no reason to say this isn't perfectly usable in a game. Overall, it's a rather nice sight, affordable too at 35 bucks. And my favorite piece about it is that it's so lightweight. At a few ounces, uh, you can pop this thing onto your gun and pretty much not even change the weight of the AEG. You'll be lugging around all day. Like I mentioned, it is a nice sight as far as the actual red dot goes. Just looks a little fuzzy on the camera. You do have the adjustable brightness settings that you can change depending on your situation in the airsoft field. Say outdoor, you need something a little brighter. Indoor, where it's already dark, it can handle a lower setting. And overall, it gets the job done. Adjustable for windage and elevation, you can sight this in and uh, definitely make it use it to your advantage out there in the airsoft field. With that being said, guys, this has been Deathcore Airsoft's overview of the Valken 30mm Red Dot Optic. If you're interested in purchasing it, check out the link down below in the description. And with that being said, thanks for watching, guys.